Let's talk about okay. board games and the things that make a board game night go bad. Okay. What not to do. Yeah. I got maybe a few. <laughs> I'm Miranda. And I'm Michaela. Tonight, we're going to tell you how to not host a board game night. I have coffee again tonight because that's like yeah. my usual. I mean, that's my go-to. I think I could drink like five cups a day at least. I, I won't. I won't. But like, I think I could. Home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. What are you um, drinking? Just soda. Classic. Honestly, I kind of, I'm kind of a little bit wired already tonight anyway. So, okay. and, and I don't light. have like hard caffeine much anyways. I have consistent, very consistent caffeine always. Yeah. We're just going to skip over this part, but if you want to hear us go down 10 rabbit trails and eventually end up talking about fantasy football, join our Patreon for all of the unedited episodes. Let's talk about way ways to not host board game nights. Ways to not. Ways to so, not. Like what okay. not to do. What we've learned over these years. A lot of lessons. Yeah. <laughs> of what not to do. The mistake that comes to mind for me in planning board game nights is mm -hmm. um, when I try to get a group that is not interested at all in board games into board games. Yeah. And, you know, like our, like I still feel like I'm holding out parents. hope for, like, a strategic way to in involve people. And, like, my idea mm -hmm. is to uh, create a different, like, role scenario. Like, there was someone, um, I think they were on Reddit and, like, everyone wanted these things that they made. Um, a lot of people do it, but they'll make rule abbreviations or, like, a total summary of a game. Mm -hmm. And they'll put on just a note card. So, like, you know, when you have yeah. hundreds of board games, you don't get to play them more than a couple times mm -hmm. and so you forget the rules like yeah. and all the little nuances you don't want to reread the whole rule book like mm -hmm. that's going to take forever so they put these on note cards so that they can quickly reference and like relearn the game and they've written that and like everyone was asking if they could buy those note cards from them yeah nice. it was really cool I think they did end up making them either available free or yeah. selling them on Etsy yeah like you could oh, really I'd be interested really cool in doing that and just yeah. making them mm -hmm. available on yeah. our website yeah yes. that would be fun so that was the idea on like yeah making things um easy for them to mm -hmm. digest again now like i still think there's a way to do it yeah you know for non-gamers mm -hmm. um the idea behind it is to have um a totally separate rule outline mm -hmm. where you don't tell them all the little things about the game you mm -hmm. only go through each step like okay, okay. this is what we're gonna do this is the goal those are the only things you say, like the goal is victory points. So yeah. Before you say, okay, it's your turn, choose this or this. Okay. Like most people that are not gamers do not care about the strategy or like the little yeah. bits or whatever like that. Like honestly, that's the overwhelming. Like part. I want to know information about the last move if my you first yeah. move is gonna yeah. in, if it's yeah. gonna and influence I do too. It. Yeah, but we're but gamers. Not, yeah, not everybody's like mm -hmm. especially families like yeah bigger families that not everybody. So my interested. my tip is to not necessarily try to bring in non gamers mm -hmm. into it. I know that's not everyone's reality. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes they don't know where the gamers are mm -hmm. in their area. Yeah. Um, so that's their only option is to bring non-gamers into the hobby. But I just feel so bad every time I see someone post that they, like, brought their entire bag of board games to their family events or their friends' events and, like, none get broken out. And that's happened that's to us at a us. lot. Yeah, it's been us. Especially things like our church events, too. Mm -hmm. Like, there are board game lovers in our church groups. But it's definitely not the majority, and even the ones that are there are a little bit different style board games than we like. Or mm -hmm. um, you have to stick with party games or something yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, like you quick, do. Quick, easy games, and not like the really like deep, like meaty ones. Yes, yes. So I don't know. I think it's really hard to bring in non gamers yeah. mm -hmm. into that group. So what that's might a good strategy. I like it because I could already see applying it to certain games that. Mm -hmm. um, are already like pretty complicated. Like I think about 
uh, even beginning explaining the rules. But then if I was explaining the turn, I could easily yeah, tell the them turn just, is easy. just, hey, uh, do you want to do this or this? And yeah. mm-hmm. it's kind of, yeah, it's yeah. kind of an easy decision at that point. It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you can tell them that's your plan from the beginning. Mm -hmm. That way, like, they know there's no pressure on their decision. Mm -hmm. Um, So don't read them the entire rule book. Do not read them the entire rule book. Don't read the entire rule book. Okay. That's... Rule number two, don't read the entire rule book to non Don't tell them the obscure rule clarification on page 12. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't don't even probably tell them the whole, like, tie scenarios. I always go over tie scenarios. No, don't say tie scenarios. Because, yeah, if at the end of the game you're collecting all of this certain, like, resource... Yeah. Because it's a, available to the tie scenario, but somebody doesn't know that that's you know, the tie scenario. Here's the thing, too. I feel like people say, especially tie scenarios, they say this to be mm-hmm. helpful. I've done it, certainly. Like, yeah. so if someone's about to make a decision, because you told them, choose this or this. Yeah. And so they're about to, like, give up something that could be a yeah. tiebreaker scenario or yeah. is going to help them later. And you're like, well, I wouldn't suggest that you do that. They don't care <laughs> they don't care like that they don't and care what i've noticed like by doing that you've yeah. actually unintentionally made them feel stupid yeah okay which turns them away from the game you know mm. so if they can play the game or they through, might like also prioritize yeah. getting that resource whenever that's not like like if it's yeah. victory mm-hmm. point game yeah. you know mm-hmm. and they're trying to harvest berries over here and yeah it's like, and you're like i don't know what you're gonna do with 12 berries but <laughs> yeah it's like they don't translate to victory yeah. points. They just translate if yeah. you're gonna win yeah. and tie tie your win. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I would say that like, um... gosh, dang it! Sorry, <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. Okay, no, you said um, you you said the thing. <laughs> I said the thing. You That's said, very helpful. You said that they don't care about the tie scenarios and oh, it makes them feel stupid. Yeah, and... yeah. That okay. One. Um. The thing is, they're not stupid. And I know, like, you wouldn't Mm -hmm. say your friends are stupid, but, like, it helps to literally, like, say it out. Like, if they play through a whole game, they'll see where they would have made mistakes. Mm -hmm. They'll see, like, oh, shoot, I shouldn't have gotten 12 berries. Yeah, you don't have to spell it out like you're watching a new movie with somebody. Did you see the scene? But if you Did you see that? Oh, my God. I swear. Okay, wait, wait. Do you know what that means when they they said that? Rabbit hole, this is why I have never watched all of the star wars i still i think i've only ever seen one and the only scene that constantly replays in my head is the one where this little like worm thing goes through these blinds into a room (laughs) that's like the beginning of the movie (laughs) is it really (laughs) is it the beginning of the first movie i don't remember (laughs) oh my god but it's it's very it's (laughs) Towards the beginning okay, of one okay. of the movies. Well, I don't get further than that because I've always I always watch it. So I don't own the movies, and I know they're probably like easy free to stream somewhere. Yeah, else. but I like will Disney Plus, I think. Even oh, right? Yeah, they probably. Star Wars. Well, maybe I'll watch it alone. Okay, do without that. anyone. Do that. But if if I can get over like the older style movie, whatever. Mm. But. I don't watch them because I'd always watch them with people that are like, "You need to see this," and then they sit here and they're like. Explain everything. And I'm like, I'm an intelligent human being. I If you came to this conclusion mm-hmm. from watching it, I'm sure I can came, come to the same conclusion <laughs> from watching it. So my point is that, yeah. like, your friends will be able to do that. Yeah. If you prioritize making their first play a good experience, yeah. regardless right. if they win or lose, yeah, like, yeah, well, you're trying to say. help them, I get mm-hmm. it. But, like, they can lose horribly, and if anything, it'll, like, create in them, like, this vendetta. Yeah. Like, they have to they win. They could win and feel like... Oh, well, I mean, that wasn't that hard, or right. you I've don't got it want, figured out, or well, I don't You don't necessarily really... need them to win yeah. to want to play with butt. you next week. <laughs> yes, yeah, kick their butt. <laughs> and they can look Things easy. not to do. Don't yeah. let them win. Don't let them win. <laughs> <laughs> I kick I their butts in every advice. single game. I think it's valid yeah. advice. I'm just mm-hmm. saying. You know, our valedictorian in high school, her father never let her win a game of chess. Yeah. Ever. Mm-hmm. Valedictorian. She's I'm so just smart. saying. I know. The math is math. And yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. Yes. <laughs> I'm not trying to be. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to be. I'm just saying. So that, that would be my tip from, yeah. like, my experience. I okay. think it's just, it's hard to bring non-gamers in. Mm-hmm. But when non-gamers are brought in... I think we try to coddle them too much, yeah. try to hold their hand, because we want them to like it so badly mm-hmm. that it's like when you try to force something on a kid. Yeah. Oh, or, or even when, like, oh my gosh, if I have to, like, do the dishes, 
And yet someone tells me, like, hey, oh. are you going to do the dishes? Oh, no. I really need you to do the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do them. <laughs> I was just about to do it. Yeah, no, that's that will be an immediately... Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to do the dishes. I don't want to do the dishes. Uh-huh. I wanted to two seconds ago. Now I don't. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. That, that would be my most common experience, even. like Because yeah. I find myself constantly regressing back to trying to just like make it the perfect scenario for them yeah. and it, it doesn't work in our benefit yeah or for their benefit. no I think that's them. a really strong rule to mm-hmm. to try and take on at least to yeah. even try for mm-hmm. one night like you yeah. can't knock it if you haven't tried it like that's you're not it. gonna make it worse <laughs> like, yeah yeah mm-hmm. it's I think it could only end up being better yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like and the it. thing is most of the stories I hear of people planning these game nights like what hurts is you can see the love that they put into it mm-hmm. with their friends because they plan drinks and snacks and location mm-hmm. and they know all the rules ahead of time. They know how to teach the game. Yeah. But like, again, it's just thinking about teaching them every aspect of the game. Yeah. And like, they don't care. And yeah. like, that hurts. But like, yeah. your only way to maybe get mm-hmm. them to care is to approach it that mm-hmm. way. I, maybe we need to like trial this a little bit, you know, mm-hmm. first, but that's, that's in theory, yeah. not in practice. So yeah, we'll see. That, that okay, so idea. I have another suggestion. Okay. okay. Um, so my suggestion would be to not have anything else on the agenda. Like have yeah. food figured out. Okay. Okay. But don't like have it be some big ordeal. Don't have it where, um, okay, we're going to come and we're going to, watch this uh football game or we're gonna Mm -hmm. um just hang out and talk and and have like a full-on like three course dinner or something or like Mm -hmm. don't have like a big thing like have little snacky things Mm -hmm. or something don't have anything else Mm -hmm. associated with it because we've had so many game nights Mm -hmm. where the intent our intent was mm-hmm. to play games. Yeah. That wasn't everybody's intent coming. They That's just want to kind of hang right. out yeah. mm-hmm. and have fun a little bit. They yeah. might like play a game and it gets later mm-hmm. and it get and conversations just snowball. Like we're yeah, rabbit holing already. Mm-hmm. Like they yeah. conversations rabbit hole right. and you mm-hmm. can't feel like you can get an in like, okay, I want to finish listening to this, but how about we learn to play a game that you haven't played before? Like, that's... No one It all falls apart. Like, I've not really had one successful night where I didn't, like, specifically plan out, like, what game you're playing, even. Mm -hmm. Like, go ahead and pick a game. You know, even in our test play nights, our test play nights Mm -hmm. were all in flavor. Mm -hmm. They were only successful, and they actually were incredibly successful Mm -hmm. when we said... This is what we're doing. We are test playing this game. We're playing this game at this time. This time. Give me your RSVPs. And actually, everyone was like completely on time. And you and I are so late to things. Like, I know. Okay, not so late, but consistently. Like, like by two minutes. Consistently by a two or three minute. And not for them to come in and be like, huh, where are they? We come in and like (laughs) these, you know, I think it was like 12 people. Yeah. Didn't know each other at all. Are just like, they're (laughs) waiting for us. Hey, they oh needed to get to know each other because All in Flavor is a social deduction I mean, that's type true. game. Like yeah. that, yeah. they needed to kind of like break their ice that's anyways. Yeah. But, but I, I just makes yeah. me appreciate what good friends we have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for them to stick around with that, yeah. I mean, oh gosh, yeah. we're we're too all over the place sometimes. That's what leads our creativity, honestly. <laughs> it does, yeah. Okay, but yeah. with your point too, okay, about the the planning, make sure yeah. there's nothing else. Mm-hmm. With our game days, uh, they've worked generally to not have a specific game that Mm -hmm. we're playing. Like, with our just general game nights where we know there's going to be, like, a decent amount of people, you know, Mm -hmm. maybe, like, at least eight or so. Mm -hmm. Um, We just have a pile of games. But if you're trying to do that with non-gamers, I guarantee you, like, 99% of the time, you're going to play Cards Against Humanity. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Like, you default to, Mm -hmm. like, no... If you don't have, like, a game decided ahead of time, yeah. whether they look mm-hmm. up the rules ahead of yeah. time or not, they're much less likely to want to, like, learn a new game. So mm-hmm. you're always yeah. going to be playing the games that yeah. you've always mm-hmm. played. Yeah. And sometimes that can be nostalgic, but, like, it just, you yeah. don't want to do that every night. You've, mm-hmm. like, compiled all these really unique, cool games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As much as you want to make the night feel fluid, mm-hmm. don't put a 
cocktail hour space, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like it should be called. Um, Because, like, the wedding, the ceremony, and the cocktail hour, and then the reception. (laughs) Go straight to reception. Like, when the person comes in, because they're not all going to enter the house at the same time, Mm -hmm. or the store, or wherever you're meeting, like, the store would be easier to do. But especially a house. Like, Mm -hmm. don't let everyone gather in the living room, or the kitchen, or whatever. Like... Tell them sit they down walk at in, the table. Sit down, have pick the game your set up, pick your characters. Have the sit game there. set up, everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that helps. Okay, but then, you know, we've talked about like bringing in the non gamers and stuff mm-hmm. and like hesitancy with that and then possibly how to navigate doing that if that is your only choice. Yeah. But honestly, there are more board game lovers out there than you would ever know. Mm-hmm. Like when we created this group in Lubbock. There have been a lot of people that have told us they did not realize how many board game lovers there were yeah. in Lubbock. I mean, Lubbock is small, but it's not small either. Yeah. Like, I mean, this, our board game group, um, we have consistently met with like 15 people, mm-hmm. you know, every other week or every week about like some mm-hmm. weeks or multiple in a row. Um, but we've had over 30 at an event of like people that don't know each other at yeah. all mm-hmm. and all different age ranges all different yeah so if you can step jobs. out of your comfort zone mm-hmm. and create a facebook group or join a facebook group and create posts and events yeah. like and just know maybe you only get one person at it the first time but if you post reminders a lot and you choose a good place like what has worked mm-hmm. best i think is our true text barbecue right mm-hmm. like that's mm-hmm. my favorite spot um yeah but I like our game stores, too. It's just that you can't get food there yeah. besides snacks. But you can bring food. So, I mean, those are good. Mm-hmm. But I, I think if you can find a good spot, like... Mm-hmm. Well, it just depends on how event. long you're going to be there, too. Like, whenever we're at our mm-hmm. H-E-B True Texas Barbecue, like, it just is easy to be there for six hours is how long we have that yeah. one blocked mm-hmm. out for, usually. Yeah, we go one so, to seven on Saturdays. So, for six hours, it's like, I'm going to either eat right before and then get there Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have another meal in between that it's not like Mm -hmm. I can eat before and then spend all day there and be like I'll just eat dinner afterwards without having a snack in a couple weeks we're gonna try to play diplomacy Mm -hmm. which on BGG because I haven't played before but on BGG it says that it's a six hour game six hour play time which I, I trust I that rating more that. than... I know. <laughs> so we've got to select all our players ahead of time, like, request, you know, hey, tell yeah. us that you're going to play with us. And preferably, like, watch at least one video of the game. Yeah. We can, like, you know, re-go over rules, but we kind of need people to a little bit know how to play or be mm-hmm. able to pick it up quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's adventure. That's going to be a feat. But good. it's... It's only because we found local people that we never knew existed. Like, mm-hmm. I have... People that I didn't know six months ago, and now I feel like I hang out with them at least every other week, if not multiple weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. Like, I promise people that they're out there. They just can, you know, go out on a ledge, Mm -hmm. create a Facebook group, join a Facebook group, create an event. Like, your whatever you get is better than where you are now Mm -hmm. with getting people that don't respect your games don't respect the time you've put into them. Yeah. Don't respect the food you've provided, the place. Like, there are people that will respect those things and will contribute yeah. to those things. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And you never expect the board game lovers either. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I mean, me. we talk about this a lot, I feel like. But, I mean, you could be walking past anyone in the mm-hmm. grocery store and you have every difference in the world and yet you, like love the same board game Mm -hmm. like what that's wild i think that's wild i don't really know like where it falls into like the game realm okay but it's a murder mystery dinner party yeah you weren't part of this one i know because you were already in dallas you were already in dallas okay Okay. you were (laughs) i mean i could have wasn't i I could have driven i guess you could have but like it was like during the weekend stuff too i think i don't know but okay Whatever. Okay. It was during the week. It was a murder mystery dinner party. Now I've never had a, okay. We have had one successful murder mystery dinner party with our church. We did do that. I was was part of that one. You were part of that one. Mm -hmm. That one was very fun. I made it successful. That healed my heart a little bit. Yeah. It was because I was was... (laughs) Wasn't I the murderer? Was I the murderer? Were you? I don't remember now. I don't know. I just (laughs) remembered it was like really easy to like, uh, pick on you oh okay I thought you were gonna say to like no, figure me out no, I was no. like no to pick on you because I felt like 
I didn't have rapport with everyone else because I didn't mm-hmm. know them very well. No, and so I, was I didn't very know much how like it's gonna like hurt their feelings. Yeah, I was like a skeeter, and well, just, you and I were like like big contrasting personalities, mm-hmm. and so it was also really easy. Yeah. Okay, anyways, okay, tell so me fun, about the bad so fun murder mystery dinner yeah. parties. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, I hadn't ever done one before. I said, I can take on the challenge. I'm going to do one okay. for my husband's birthday party. Yeah. Because we still had birthday parties. but We still have, we birthday, still have parties, birthday parties, don't we? just join yeah. them all together, all our birthday parties. That's true, yeah. But this yeah. one was his mm-hmm. birthday party. Okay. And I was going to have a murder mystery dinner. I invited my guests. I gave them their rules ahead of time. I made little props for it. Mm-hmm. Everything. Like, you would think I figured it out, right? Yeah. Like, I did it mm-hmm. all. Well... Right before, I'm just thinking about the people that were actually invited to this, hearing this story now. <laughs> no, no, You're still friends I love you them, guys. Right? I love you guys. Yes, I love you guys. I love you guys. Just, like, just let me vent about it, okay? It was years ago, okay? But I'm going to get it out because I'm teaching people. I'm helping the future. Maybe those friends never wanted to be a part of a murder mystery I don't, to begin with. By their actions, I don't think so. Anyways, yeah. this is what happened, okay? So... What not to do is you're not going to invite all of your people and then have those people invite additional people that now don't have a role. There's yeah. no point for them to be at the party. They don't okay. they can't participate. They yeah. don't have an assigned mm-hmm. role. They're not didn't think that there were things to plan. I gave Maybe. them a li- I gave them their character. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I gave them their character and their role and, like, what they were supposed yeah. to do. Anyways, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. Like, don't let them invite people. Don't okay. let them yeah. invite yeah. people that aren't, like, on the list. Like, murder mystery dinner parties are very specific. You have to learn your yeah. character mm-hmm. ahead of time. Okay. You have to be prepared. Like So, on the invite, just, like, write that. Like, you know. Yeah. If you want to invite someone... Give me five days ahead of time. Yeah, something like some that. Some notice yeah. or mm-hmm. something so yeah. that because some do have some flexibility that mm-hmm. you can have this many to this many yeah. characters, okay. and you would just create no, wait, another do you, one. Do you get these scripts from somewhere, or do you write? Yeah, them? you can purchase them. Um, okay. I actually have a a friend, well, a student that worked for us that um, she and her family do one every single year. Just every family? single year, like, yeah, the yeah. whole family. They all wow. go down to. One, I think it's like a beach house or something together. Oh I don't gosh. know if it's Airbnb or somebody's house. This is getting like Knives oh, Out vibes. Oh, it <laughs> like, is. It is. Really yeah. Is. So this is what they do. Okay. okay. I've, rabbit hole. This is what they yeah. do. They, um, the aunt picks a new one every year and I okay. think she purchases them from, I don't know so if it's, it's Etsy aunt. or somewhere. The <laughs> rich aunt. Pur- <laughs> okay. She purchases, they're like $50. They're regular game mm-hmm. prices. Okay. Um, okay. So you purchase, she purchases one a new one every year and they all get together. It was around Thanksgiving or Christmas. It was a holiday season. They do it. It's not just like a random event day. Mm-hmm. It's around a season and they all get together and on the first day that they're all there, they all go to the grocery store or Target or something, they go to the store together and they pick out like costumes. So they don't actually prepare That's ahead of cool. time. Okay. They do that as part of the little yeah. uh, mm-hmm. adventure of it. That's so really once they cool. get like to the destination, yeah, they find all their yeah. little props and costumes and they do it together. Gosh, I just envy families that like are all that much into one yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, like I feel like we have so many different people in our family yeah. and I love mm-hmm. that like each aspect about them, but when you have a family that is all into like one thing together, yeah. that's so rare. Mm-hmm. That's it's definitely the rarity in yes, this is yeah in is. the world. Okay, go on. So they go on. so they do their murder mystery party every year, and actually I need to message her because I want some of her aunt's ones, whatever ones that she can send me that are free. I definitely thought you were like, I want an invite. I want an invite to their family get together (laughs) on the holidays. (laughs) Okay, no, so they, I don't know why I went down that rabbit hole, but anyways, they do one every year. They don't let them invite other people. Like, it's Mm -hmm. very specific, the amount Mm -hmm. of people that you can have and give them a role. Mm -hmm. If there are, like, you want to add extra people, you can invent Mm -hmm. roles. They're not necessarily going to be like, the killer, so you kind of know that they won't be because the killer is right, going to have yeah, a sort of backstory right. to it. So you know if somebody was created last minute yeah. that they're not mm-hmm. going to be a suspect, really. But at least they right. get to participate. Yeah. Give a head start notice, like, five days. Like, just don't... Mm-hmm. No last-minute guess. We wanted voices, like, 
character voices. Mm -hmm. It's not that hard. It is a little bit like if you're not outgoing enough to feel like stupid or everybody ends up with British accents, if that's like the easiest, which is fine. I'll feel like I'm at Hogwarts. That's fine. That's That's, I'm totally good at that. Um, (laughs) But voices are great and that's what Chris wanted to you remember for this party time I was in a play in high school and I had to do a British accent and then it bled into my everyday speech no you don't but you when can't. I start reading Harry Potter I do I do actually oh my talk gosh well the accent. only reason this was difficult like, is because I was playing a part where I had a lot of monologues I didn't really remember you playing a part because you no, were like you the didn't. main you were the main set designer I know but this one I branched out and was like I was I was like the headmistress in the school Maybe and I, I had remember. a lot of monologues, and I had to speak in a British accent. Yeah. I'm not even going to try okay, it right but now, I get I'm going to make a fool of myself. I get a lot of our memories mixed up, though, because honestly, your memories are my memories. Yeah, that's, that's I don't true. remember yeah. who did yeah. what. So. And we were very separate in college, too, so I'll hear about yeah. something, I'll be like, the hell? Yeah, <laughs> you, did you, that? you did what? Like, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Well, that happened, and I okay. developed a British well, accent and during part of my speech. For <laughs> <laughs> congratulations on getting the part of admission. Yeah. Thank you. Did you design the set too? No, I don't no. think I did do that one. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. I'm sure it was Why were we talking about accents? <laughs> because I like to do voices for the murder mystery. Yes, okay, okay, yeah. And so it was all just like, okay, well, somebody was like, okay, if we're doing voices, like we're drinking because they uh, need liquid yes. courage yeah, to be yeah. able okay. to do I voices. Would need that. I mean, yeah. I didn't drink on set, but like uh-huh. I would. <laughs> but this in combination with like the uninvited party guests just kind of like turned it into drinking. And anyways, it was honestly kind of sad because we ended up just like not even being able to complete the game oh, at all. Like they yeah. just were like, I don't really know what's going on. Let's go to a bar. And we did. Yeah. And that's how it ended. Okay. Yeah. So mm-hmm. lesson learned, don't do that. Okay. Just avoid. So if you don't can. invite don't new in, people. Don't but... have don't allow uninvited like last minute guests. Okay. Yeah. And mm-hmm. if you're gonna serve alcohol, make sure that like it's just kind of controlled in a little bit of a way like you're yeah, not okay. like somebody's not so uncomfortable to the point that like they don't even want to be involved at all because True. it's just going to yeah. lead to them like not uh giving the right clues not yeah. participating mm-hmm. enough or right. just like i don't know just want just wanting to drink and not really yeah um, play the game okay yeah that's my life lesson. It was a sad night because I was I'm really sorry. excited about it. And, yeah. and I held on to like the extra, like the little props that I had made for years thinking really? that we might do it. Did and you like, get just, rid of them? Yeah. I, I don't like to hoard. I mean, yeah. I, I throw stuff out like crazy, okay. honestly, even though my husband would say different. Yeah. <laughs> but I yeah. do. But I do. I throw stuff, a lot of stuff out. And right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I just, I can always make them again. It's fine. And it was yeah. a free one that I had downloaded from okay. online, so mm-hmm. I didn't even pay for it. Um, but the next one that I do, I do want to do a paid one because yeah. I want to contribute to an artist and I want to be able to have just like a really quality, mm-hmm. like yeah. murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> quality murder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's just a fuzzy bigot. Whatever's black on your <laughs> chair. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll get it. I was like, I don't think it would show up, but I'm like, it just, it'll distract me and mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's like an ant or something. Yes. <laughs> it's an ant. Because, <laughs> <laughs> and if it moved, <laughs> stop. It would just be like. But why does that have to be an ant? Like, can it be a spider or something? No, ants are worse. Exactly. That's why it needs to be a spider. Don't call it an ant. <laughs> I sleep with. <laughs>